What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE. Actually, no, it is not WWE. It is not WWE action figure news, Brad. It's actually quite the opposite. If WWE had an opposite, it would probably be AEW. We have AEW action figure news for you guys. And pretty just kind of out of the blue. And it actually makes me think that these figures could be coming soon. But you guys can let me know down in the comment section below. AEW Unmatched Series number 7 has brand new images and some figures that we have not gotten to see at this level. And... And some a figure that that was not revealed at all so this is really good stuff so let's go ahead and dive into it man let's start out first with AEW and match series number seven hook and we're starting off with the chase this is the new figure here it is the chase hook figure one of five thousand this figure looks sweet as hell man I don't know if you guys know but I like this cream color right here man I, I've discussed this on the channel a little bit man that Milwaukee Bucks cream color looks damn good on these shorts and then you have like the Phoenix Suns hook with the purple and the orange there looks very great. I'm really excited for his figure. I, I kind of am worried about the posability on his legs, but I still like the way the rest of the figure looks Look like it's going to, you know, pose around nice and everything like that. The only thing that could really upgrade these figures the most is getting rid of the pins. You know, I just feel like when, especially, you know how like on AEW figures, sometimes their arms are really, really skinny, unless it's like certain guys, you know, the, the women's figures, Hook, you know, Orange Cassidy, guys like that that have smaller arms compared to just like Kenny Omega or Wardlow or other guys like that. That the pins in their arms are so gigantic that it kind of takes up a big portion of their arm and it can throw off your eyes a little bit man it looks a bit off but I'm still digging the way this hook looks I'm very excited to see exactly what we get here and this will be our fourth hook so you have the ringside exclusive hook you have the unmatched series 7 hook you have the chase hook you have the hook housing from the two pack so we have so many hooks coming soon that I'm excited for so I'm all I'm all for it and you know I'm sure there'll be more and more hooks to come but this hook figure looks dope and I I appreciate this. I'm glad that Hook got a chase figure here because the more hooks, the more happy you are. You know, that's, the, that's what they say. Next up in the set, we do have the other side of the chase, which is going to be Thunder Rosa. Now, we've just talked about her figures on the channel, man. Thunder Rosa has so many damn figures. It's ridiculous, man. Like, good God in heaven. She has so many figures, not including her Supreme coming soon. You have her Blood and Guts. You have her Series 9, her Chase Series 9. I mean, Thunder Rosa has a ton of figures here, but this one looks good. I actually like this one a lot. This, this low-key might be my favorite one. I love, like, this Wonder Woman S gear you got going on. You got like white, blue, gold, red. Looking like America. Great face paint. She got the tongue out head sculpt. Looking like a true superstar here. I actually like this Thunder Rosa a lot. Similar pro problems with Hook. You know, she's got the large pins in her arms. But this is a nice solid chase. I like the chases in this set. I think they're both sought after or ones that I like. A bit plain Jane on the Hook one, but I still think it looks really good men on card. And I just love that sticker they put on there. You put them in cream shorts. Really nice. I like classic. Good stuff. That is our two chase figures in our AEW and Match Series 7. Let's move on to the regular editions for this set. Starting out first, we have Ray Phoenix. Now, I've seen a lot of people say that this is like one of the best AEW figures they've done. I've heard a lot of people say this. It looks aesthetically amazing, man. These tights look great. The metallic paints that you got going on here. You got the white, the gold, the black, the silver all really tying in nicely together. Great looking jacket on this guy. And a lot of people are going to be putting this jacket on different guys. I like the face sculpt or the mask sculpt with the colors you get the AEW Tag Team Championship really beautiful looking figure men on car as well he's got his whole jacket on he's holding up the hand signs there very clean and his silver jacket matches the silver packaging so that all ties it up nice and a nice bow for you really clean there I like this a lot I, I really enjoy this Ray Phoenix figure and if you were to rank Ray Phoenix figures try saying that five times fast Jesus rank Ray Phoenix figures I don't know which one would come out on top I really enjoy the Supreme I really like the Series 2 I think I put the Series 6 at the bottom but this one's gonna be up there you guys know that i love zebra print i love white it's all tying together there with some metallics you, you're speaking my language right there man this one is a bad a looking ray phoenix but then we have the other side of ray phoenix which is going to be penta and penta is looking damn good here as well i really love the metallic paint that's going on with both of these guys and now we have another penta to go here in this series you guys know that we have another dark penta coming soon right when ray phoenix was out with injury we had that one singles penta that they're coming soon. I don't know if it got moved or what. I want to say it was going to be in like Unmatched Series 8 or 9. I can't remember exactly, but I think they moved it, so I'm not exactly sure what's coming of that figure, but nonetheless, he's also coming with a World Tag title. We've seen our share of Pentas. This figure seemed to look better to me on display when we saw it at FanFest this past time, because you can't really see all the metallics that's got going on with this figure compared to how we saw it on display at the FanFest scenario there. So this figure looks good. I like the way it looks. Any Lucha Bros I'm down for. You know, a lot 
lot of repeated characters, but we do get Hook in this set, which is the big deal. And so we do get the Lucha Bros here. We also have Pac to, to finish or complete our Death Triangle here. And this Pac figure looks good. You know, it is it is confirmed that he is going to have lower leg cut or kick pad rotation, which is always bonus points for me. But it is an upgrade in attire. I think it is slightly better than his other figure. If you guys don't like the red armband, I guess if these are the same skin tone as the Unrivaled Series 3 Pac, I guess you could switch the torsos there. But I feel like this has more life to it as far as the skin tone is concerned. You get the eye patch head sculpt, you get the yelling head sculpt, and you get the head wrap head sculpt. This one photo with his hands behind his back and his, you know, like his eyes blinded looks like he's being held hostage or something like that, which looks a bit crazy. But I like Pac. I like this figure. Not a lot you could do with him, but he does come with the trusty AEW microphone, which is always a bonus. But, you know, I like this figure. It's not the best of all time, but it's an upgrade to his Unrivaled 3. And I guess, you know, we talk about figures and them redoing guys and everything like that. I think it's okay to redo somebody, first of all, if they're very toyetic, but also if you're improving the figure, I can kind of tip the cap a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I can give you a little wiggle room if, if you're at least improving the talent that you're redoing. I can tip the cap. What I can't do for you is if you're just going to re-release Orange Cassidy with a different graphic on his shirt and keep the same hands and pockets gimmick. Can't do that, Brad. Not going to not gonna live with that right there. So in this scenario, I think the Pac figure is solid. Even if the head sculpts aren't perfect, I still enjoy the figure more than his Unrivaled 3. And that's all you can really ask for when you're giving kind of a basic gear here. But moving on, we also have the LJ and CM Punk. I know a lot of people are going to be looking forward to this figure. You know, it's been a while since we got our last LJN. We've seen the Cody. We saw the Walmart Cody. We saw the Darby. And now we're getting CM Punk here. I'm going to be honest. It looks like it's going to be the exact same as the Darby. It's not going to feel like an LJN. It's not going to be the feel that the Cody Rhodes gave us. It's going to be very stiff. It's going to almost feel like a statue, kind of. And uh, while it looks great, it's, uh, it's the tattoo deco is fantastic. I like the gear. A very cool looking figure, one that I'm definitely going to be getting. I mean, I'm I, you guys know that I'm going to be getting them anyways, but i got to review them on the channel, take a look at them for you guys as well. Anyway, so this CM Punk figure is solid. I just, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like it, but I don't like it at the same time for certain reasons, but I think these figures aesthetically look good. They just don't really remind you of the LJNs, at least in my opinion. They look a bit too matte and compared to like a shininess, but I guess it is their own take on the matter, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of the CM Punk down below. But I am looking forward to the figure. I think the deco looks really, really good. And I like the size of these figures. So we will see when it comes in hand. But we also have the two regular versions of Hook and Thunder Rosa. You have Hook in his green shorts. We've seen this again. We have many hooks coming. I like the chase better. This is kind of your like standard run of the mill everyday hook. And then you have your cream version. Gonna have to try and get the hook chase and get it loose. You know, I'm trying to get a loose and a mint of every chase. But not super high on the priority list, but certainly something I want to do. But at the same time, uh, I like the cream better than the green green, even though the green is probably more, you know, it's it's a more common look. It's a look that you know you've probably seen more often than not, and so that is that, but I definitely like the cream version better, and then Thunder Rosa, her, her figure's cool. I like the lightning gear. Got like the uh, the black and yellow looking cool. She also comes with a flag, a cool interchangeable head sculpts. Thunder Rosa is very toyetic. That's probably why she gets so many figures, is because her gears are so cool, and they look really good as figures, so that's really going to help you down the road when you, you know, you, you're Darby Allens of the world your Rey Mysterios, your Jeff Hardys, tattoos, masks, bright attires, different changes like that. You get a lot of figures, you know, compared to a Pac, per se, that's just going to wear standard trunks and maybe add a line on the outside or something like that. So that is the, the way of the world right now. But that is it for your AEW and Match Series 7. Now, I didn't put up any more images, but it makes me think that if we got these images, they're more than likely going to be in stock pretty soon. Wouldn't you think that they're going to be arriving very soon if they put these up? So we will have to see about that. However, man, that is going to wrap up our news video today for the AEW Unmatched Series number 7. I'd like to know down below what you think of these figures, man. It seems like a lot of people don't really care for the AEW figures or at least I guess they don't have the same size and you know you compare WWE to AEW WWE certainly has a bigger audience it's just the way it is I mean they've been in business so long you know they're more mainstream all these different things but it's the same way in the action figures as well it seems that there is a much bigger fan base for the WWE Mattel figures or maybe you know there's definitely a lot of crossover right but it seems like people aren't as amped or as ready to dive into the AEW figures like you can even see it in review numbers and things like that 
that maybe people, maybe AEW figures have soured on some people. And you guys can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, man, huge shout out to our patron supporters and patron backers. Thank you guys so very much for your support on the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys so much. If you guys are interested in all these things, links in the description below, of course. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name. Toys. watching, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never be